All right, man, Fresh and Fit might have just ruined their money for good this time. It's going to take a second to take effect, so they're still boastful. As you can see, Fresh and Fit Black women, people are searching for the podcast with Asian doll for a reason. And then look down here, it says Fresh and Fit Podcast Black Woman, Fresh and Fit Don't Date Black. And that's what it all boils down to, guys. Okay, so this is an entrepreneur channel. This is not a gossipy race type channel. The fact is what I want you guys to see. You're going to learn a couple things for your business in this video first of all publicity sometimes is not a good thing depending on how you got it uh, a lot of people say that all publicity is good publicity but not true especially when you run something like a podcast now I don't run a podcast but I do know that if I want people to continue trying to sign up to come on to be on my podcast I would not be just flat out disrespecting them are their race okay so fresh and fit a lot of people seem to think that when we're dark skinned we're all bunched up into one group but that's not true this dude right here he's some form of african somewhere then the other guy he's jamaican but those are not what you would consider a so-called african-american so when they talk about black women they're talking about african-american women of which they do not belong to the same ethnic background so it feels good for them to be able to trash women every time they come on there so they trash women no matter what but people seem to love uh the podcast anyway and uh but the thing is right now it struck a card with the the so-called black community young jock spoke out on it so what i'm trying to get you guys to see is if you want your business to run so so a lot of people don't care that they trash women period the problem is uh if you're trying to move to the next level and you try to get high profile people on your your uh publication or your platform you can't diss them the same way that you would diss these little oaks. So they're used to having like OnlyFans models on their stuff and, and little stupid Instagram, no offense, <laughs> look at me, little, little Instagram models and stuff, all right? But the problem is now they're trying to have celebrities. They're trying to have celebrities on their shows, okay? And it's not gonna be easy to sit and trash around with the celebrities the same way you would trash the OnlyFans models and the Instagram models. You can't talk to them the exact same way because now then your money is messing up. People don't want to come on your show anymore because the word is getting passed around through high profile people not to go on this dude's show because he's going to talk stuff about you. So as you can see, it's just countless different channels covering this story. If you're an entrepreneur with a podcast, the do's and the don'ts are very simple. If you expect to have a constant flow of people coming onto your show, you need to watch how you treat your guests. And secondly, when you're trying to move up, your, your attitude needs to move up as well, okay? So I just wanted to come over here, cover this, let people know what I thought. As far as I'm not wanting to date black women, I don't care, whatever. But the problem is they need to stop trying to make money off of her too then. Right. A lot of people don't want to be black, but they want to make money off of her. Take your little butts back to wherever the hell y'all came from, for real, and make money off of your own pain, suffering, and struggles of your nations and stuff. If you don't want to accept us in total, then don't try to deal with us at all, okay? So that's my issue with it, all right?